Why not start with this man? You know him by now. David Wright is here. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. You're quite animated today. I like it. I feel good. The sunshine. Yeah. I'm trying to get a tan. Very good. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Yeah, looking good. To be honest with I you, like you it, too. Jeff. Good to see you. It was good to see you, too. There's a lot made about your haircut, by the way. That's all I heard about coming down is your haircut. But I want to ask you first things. How much are the Mets paying you for this Mets face of the MLB thing? Because I am <laughs> so done with it. Please, I mean, you get a car out of this? What do you get out of this whole thing? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'll ask Jay after this interview, but um, I mean, I the love fans it. have I, come on strong. I hope it's crazy. you win. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, uh, uh, you know, we were talking about it today, and now my teammates are getting involved, and they're trying to get the word out, and now it's become almost like a, uh, you know, a team versus team competition. You know, we're, we're getting the word out. Everybody else is, and uh, <laughs> the fans are coming out in full force. It's been pretty cool. You know, it, this is interesting because here you are, and, you know, gosh, you know, it feels like we've known you for such a long time. But um, spring training, is, is it still the same fun? Is it still the same sunshine baseball? Do you still kind of get that glimmer in your eye when you come down here? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's just, you know, you start going through the drills again and you get those kind of those butterflies. You know, you get some of the fans watching you lining up the fences and you want to uh, do well, put on a good show even down here, you know, the first couple of days of the workout. And then you get a bat in your hand and you're facing John Neese and Dylan G and some of these guys and, and – you know, those, those competitive juices start pumping up, and, and you want to have the bragging rights in the clubhouse. So it's, it's a good time. You know, we, we joke, of course, that, that you're getting old. But you're, you're 31 years old now. And, but my question is, has your, your off-season regimen, does that change in terms of getting your body ready and trying to you know, keep it in tune for a full season? Or are your routines any different in preparation or weight training or anything like that? Yeah, I try, I try to go into the off-season, evaluate how I was the year before. Um, you know, last year I had uh, the little hamstring issue that kept me out for a good chunk of time. So this offseason, I went in to try to strengthen my legs, to try to make sure that, you know, we're past that. And, you know, it's some different things that I've done in the past. It's still the weightlifting and the conditioning and stuff like that. But also, um, you know, some, some little things that I could do to help strengthen, you know, that problem area. Like is there more stretching involved and things like yeah, that? Yeah, I think more stretching. I think more, um, you know, hamstring work, mm. um, things to try to strengthen the area that was injured last year and to make sure that, you know, I still kind of have that flexibility. Yeah, I know it's not in your DNA, but you easily could have taken it to the house last year with your hamstring. It was a big problem, but you, you were animated about coming back, and you did come back. How important was it for you to come back and, and play the last couple of weeks and just kind of get that time in? Oh, for me, it's very important. Anytime you have an injury, the goal of the rehab is to get back as soon as possible, you know, under the doctor's guidance, under the trainer's guidance, under the physical therapy therapist guidance so um you know that's what i love to do i love to play you know i'm not going to get hurt and say you know what it's going to be close you know let's just pack it in for the rest of the year um you know i want to go out there and play i want to go out there and try to put on a good show for those fans that pay for the tickets um you know and it's just in my dna to to go out there and, and want to get back as quickly as possible especially to kind of put your mind at ease also you know kind of selfishly going into the next year knowing that hey you know, I got back, I'm healthy, uh, had some at-bats, and feel pretty good. Tell me why Ike Davis can hit 30 home runs this year. Because he's done it. You know, that's easy. Um, you know, you, you, people forget that uh, he's a year removed from having probably one of the best second halves that, that I've ever, most productive second halves that I've ever seen. Um, you know, there's not too many guys uh, that could say that they've hit 30 home runs, um, you know, at City Field, and he has that under his belt, so... Um, you know he's done it before is the best answer you know what do you what do you what are your conversations with him though because i think you and i both know it, it doesn't matter really what he does in spring training we know what he can do and i think we both also know that really it's about the first couple of weeks hopefully getting off to a good start and changing the, the mm -hmm. tenor what do you guys talk about in terms of that and kind of you know getting people off his back and just kind of going out and doing his thing well it's not so much that i think ike is so um you know sociable so coachable that um, like last year, um, for instance, he, he came off of a very good second half, came into spring training, um, hit 350 or 360 during spring training, then goes and has a, a, a rough start to the season, the first three, four, five games. All of a sudden, you know, he completely changes his stance, changes his swing to try to see those results instead of knowing that you're going to go through some bumps, uh, sticking to what he's been successful with mm -hmm. and kind of, uh, doing what he knows has gotten him there. And I think he's back to the point of, you know, feeling comfortable in, in the box and will be less likely to, you know, change some things that he shouldn't be tinkering with. Before we let you run, why is this team better than last year? Well, I think our – I'll put our outfield defense up against anybody in the leagues. Um, and then as far as our starting pitching, um, it's incredible. Not just what we're going to break camp with, but also uh, some of these young arms that we have coming. And, you know, in my opinion, quickest way to turn – an organization around uh, and win quickly is 
young power arms, and we have plenty of them. David, best of luck on a great year. Thanks, Kevin. Good seeing you again, Much man. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir.